What up everyone, my name is Storm, in today's video we're going to be matching against these aggressive survivor friends that have a total of 20,000 hours. So this is going to be a very interesting match in general because we're going to be playing as the oppressive hit and run chase of Wraith build and the build is going to be Brutal Shrem, Endurance, Fear of Fury and Hexblood Favor. And to complete this build we're going to be running these add-ons which is Shadow Dance Blood which increases the action speed for breaking pallets, generated damage and window vaulting by plus 60% was cloaked. And then the other add on, which is a Serpent Scroot, breaking pallets or damaging generators causes the Wraith to fully uncloak. This is going to be a very interesting build. But the real question is if you could buff Wraith, how would you do it and why? Put them in the comments below. If you guys want to watch us live on Twitch, we do stream from Tuesday to Saturdays around 5 or 6 pm BST. And if you guys want to use code Storm at Sneak Energy, it'll be much appreciated and it'll be supporting me as a content creator. But hopefully, you do enjoy the video. Let's get into it and enjoy. Bye. I think these are a three stack. Oh, it's a four stack. Okay, so this is going to be a quit switch game. So this one is Rafe on the game. Good, he's big fun. They did quit switch into beamers. So four beamers in this game. And I did send to the Guineas big fun because I wanted a little bit of a challenge, especially with this map being the home of Pallet. So in this video or this game, we can see what we can do. Just have to be careful with the four beamers. They will try and spin me out and try and hold me in this game. Just heads up. So we'll just have to see how it all plays out. There we go. And now the guy dropped the pallet. There's a blood favor. Oh, boom. Oh, wow. They still got that challenge. People are still doing that. Hello, Nancy. I don't respect Palin. Said the other one. Well, we're just going to get the pickup. Uh, we've got a hook here. But these are going to be very aggressive survivors. Just a heads up. We've been against these a few times. We know how they all play. So we're just like putting pressure back on them. So if we just keep them injured, it'll be all right. They need to get rid of um, Blood Favor. The one that made this build work against them. But we've got a lot of um, pressure. Hello, I can smell you. Oh, they are doing gens. They are like one person's doing the gens. Might even get this. There's another person behind me. We want to take our group. <laughs> Alright, we've got Spirit Fairy now. So we're putting a lot of pressure on him already. If I can get rid of that pallet, it'll be perfect. Hey guys. Look at this triple beamer set up. <laughs> but if I keep them all injured, I'll be set. Look at the pressure on him. Oh, I can't wait to use the spirit. Someone's up top. But I'm trying to put pressure on him as well. But they will be looking for that um, blood favor. Thank you. <laughs> I love when that happens. And then we'll go after the Nancy. That pallet should be still up. E. There we go. Putting a lot of pressure in there. It's like, holy damn. Uh, they're picking up the person on the floor. 
So if they're all playing together, they would have caught out that. But you can see like the uh, pressure in the gens. They really want them. Oh yeah, blood favor has a cooldown. I love that build. So one person will be doing the gens whilst um, the other is like trying to meme around. You're going to be like, oh my God, this guy is actually really good. I've got Nancy here. But you see how much pressure we're doing? But they don't like staying near. They've only done two gens. But it's all right. This part's gone. They have got this. So let's go underneath and like terrify them. I did that a little bit too early. That swing. Uh, just a max of duration we're at. It's just uh, the duration on the off of the cooldown, like the oppression. Okay, so it's like the oppression cooldown. So we're doing that on purpose just to get Spirit Fury. That is a really good um, totem spawn. That is really good. They're looking for, like, for the totem. This person's quite bad with the beamer. They are looking for it. They're panicking with it. I'm going to drop down and then try and come behind him on the stairs. <laughs> I love this. This build's awesome. So it's literally a full-on anti-build uh, for pallets. No pallets are getting this way. There we go, well played. That ah, totem spawn, like, holy damn. I think two of them on death look right. Look how quick it is. Hello. <laughs> yeah. They are going to be pre dropping pallets now. <laughs> I flex my dude. So if they lose the game, it's because of the thing dropping every single pallet. But I think they're all on death look apart from one person. But I love it when they're clicking, they go down. But I need to keep putting them injured. Oh, you can tell like she's getting annoyed. I I'll... Do a little mini tunnel, I'll say. He's got DS. 100%. There we go. Just got a click. There you go. Little T bait. Oh, she's got the adrenaline as well. <laughs> Look at her. To be honest, with all this pressure. 
Um, they still got ahead with it. But it is quite funny. And, look, and the uh, last door's open. But they all played really good. I lagged like hard though. Now they're stuck. <laughs> they're not clicking anymore. <laughs> <laughs> They just try to get inside your head. Like the beamers and all that don't bother me. But I even pass them on a good map as well. GG everyone. No, you can um still do it. They had four beamers that game as well. But they all played really good, bro. What's up? Uh what was the build like to face? That's if he's still in. He's maybe just left. Like, yeah, they all dipped at the end. So I just want to have a just a normal conversation with them at the end. So if we look at their build, we had borrow time, we had windows, we had life and inner healing. They brought a beamer. They brought dead eyed, adrenaline, DS, and unbreakable. They had another beamer. We had breakout, exponential, cycle healing, and borrow time. They brought another beamer. We had dead eyed, borrow time, wiggle of forever, and desperate measures. But you can see, like, with a map being like that, you can switch the game around. But it's very interesting. What they did i had to bring the game back but there was always one person on a gen whilst the others was just memeing around for clips uh what was he referring to with the face so you can't like body block at the end like the, that little section but you can see like they was getting more confident because the the game was going in their favor trying to get inside the killer's head but i still made this into a video you can see like how aggressive the survivors were uh towards me who's running no slowdown and i'm just running like full-on destroy pallet destroy pallets after destroy pallet but it was like the thing was like just pre-dropping every pallet after they figured out what the build was like that's why the thing was like clicking and teabagging at every pallet i did four gens that game bro which one was you and well played by the way true but it was a really good game i was trying to like ask a question at the end but you all dipped so i was asking like what was the build like to face but it is a very oppressive chase build uh, for wraith but it's a lot of fun i was throwing myself at the pallets just to destroy them for the spirit foe but like i said they all played really good um the only clock at the end uh, to show dominance and to try and get inside the killer's head. With these add-ons and these perks and me sending them to the home of pallets, it did help them in their favor. But I heard it like at the start and I got a little bit too confident and um, it slowly turned around. I basically see bags so you uh, chased me because I wasn't on death hook. I didn't want you to to leave me sorry for the time no i don't i don't care like if uh, people are teabagging and clicking i don't think it's um toxic at all uh, i had a feeling like someone was like clicking and all that just to get chased that's only what i think but i don't mind um people teabagging and clicking it doesn't get inside my head the real issue is the thing like just pre-dropping every pallet we was just enjoying the build hopefully uh you enjoyed it you tried hey i was the thing bro oh okay <laughs> no i didn't i didn't mind it I was just like, bro, why are you debugging? <laughs> it was a very scary build in the start. But after figuring out what your plans was. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Like once you figure out the build, then you can just pre-drop pallets, especially on that map. But I, I had I, I knew three of you was together, but I didn't know you were. You was the console one, right? You let a few downs go, yeah. Around 20k hour team all down. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. Remember, if you did, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe while you're at it. And let us know what you thought about this video. And before we do end this video, if you want to watch us live on Twitch, we do stream from Tuesday to Saturdays around 5 or 6 p.m. BST. And if you want to use code STORM at Sneak Energy, then feel free. It'll be much appreciated. More information and links will be all in the description below. But thank you for watching. Remember to stay safe, stay awesome, stay lovely, and enjoy the rest of your day or night, depending on where you are. And peace.